Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Friday, June 19th, 2020. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Happy Friday, everyone. Great to see you all. Here's a look at the ES in the daily time frame here. You'll notice right now that price is on highs here. We had a failed new low that developed in the previous session here, where price pushed below the previous session's low and pushed back above that low by the end of the day. This was not the strongest failed new low that you'll see as price was not able to close back above the previous session's mid uh, there's a tendency to close well through that to be a very strong failed low like this one for example pushes down then closes through that mid that's an indication that this thing can continue higher although it's not the strongest we are on highs right now at the, at, at the uh, pre-market ahead of the RTH open here and we could be looking at more strength ahead one thing to keep an eye on will be uh, the 3130 level or, or 3120, any failure to hold 3120 starts to rotate rotate this thing back downward. Uh, we have now pushed into the 3135 half zone right here. Again, uh, prices above there just have been offered here recently. So if price can't stay above the 3130s here, that would be an early indication of weakness. And through 3120 opens up a potential return back to weekly VWAP, weekly VWAP being 3081 half. All right, let's take a look here at the NQ. You'll see with the NQ, price has pushed through the 10K level and has reached uh, 10,096 half, so nearly the 10,100 level. Previous highs is up here at uh, the 10,155 half. You see the top of the key range as well is right in that zone here. So we're coming into an area here where we could continue to show quite a bit of strength. Again, uh, where this thing starts to fail a bit is if it rotates back below 10.040. Below 10.040 starts to open up quite a bit of a, a pullback that could take you as deep as weekly VWAP. That's back toward 98.95 half right now. But the likelihood right now of that happening on a Friday here as this market has been quite bullish as low as this every pullback has been defended. So right now, as long as price continues to hold above the 10.040 level, and especially 10020 this has more upside ahead in the near term but keep an eye for signs of rejection should we get at the top end of the key range all right let's take a look at crude oil you'll see with crude oil we're up here above 40 yet again price had a pullback into the pima trigger zone here this pima trigger zone was bought yet again we've had a very narrow three-day range that developed in the previous session, uh, let's see the actual reading here. Yeah, so this was not quite as uh, narrow as it as it needed to be to fire that signal, but still very very narrow range, and we've broken to the upside. And so with that, you're likely going to see a move up to this upper red dot here. That's the expansion range target 5.11. So we have about a five handle range. So from today's breakout low, today's low being 38.90, call it 39, you can add a plus five to it, and a plus five would put you in the 44 zone. So from this low here over the next one to three days, we could have a significant range of five handles. If price continues to hold above the 38.39 zone, then those five handles can be seen to the upside. Any rejection up here, since we are up here above the FOMC key level, uh, any rejection of these highs, say by the end of the day we close back below 39, that would suggest that we could open up five handles from this high back down. So uh, again, got to make sure that this breakout sticks. Now one thing to keep in mind is that FOMC key level has now been hit. Remember, we talked about the sell-off. And once we find confirmed rejection, we tend to snap back to that level. Didn't quite get it for a couple of days today, finally went through it. Uh, if it can stay above it again, there's a tendency to push through, maybe return back to it for a retest and continue higher. So that's a way that we can play the FOMC moving forward. Okay, lastly, taking a look here at gold futures. Gold, again, continues to be stuck in the mud here, continues to chop around the center of this trading range. You'll notice the, the range continues uh, to honor the boundaries at 1670 and up here at 1775. So basically a 100 handle range. Again, uh, the fact that we had 
developed this range above the key range high and couldn't get going higher was suggestive of potential distribution that could lead to weakness. But we've been going sideways for about three months now in this range. And that could be an indication of accumulation, reaccumulation ahead of the next big explosive move higher. Again, no matter which way we go, this range has about 200 to 250 points of, of energy built into it. And once we see a breakout, it could be significant. So 1746 right now, we could be looking at a breakout here pretty soon. If it starts to push through 1775, it could be significant. But again, still stuck in the range, so hard to really predict when a breakout will come. And that's why we've been in a range for about three months. So continue to avoid the chop until that major decisive breakout occurs or until we see uh, an opportunity to fade the edges. All right, that is it for now. We'll see how this develops the rest of the session. Again, happy Friday. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you on the trading room. Take care.